Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let me discuss about the title of the project. The title of the project is Domain Analytic Based Semantic Search for Edition Information Retrieval Through Automatic Query Expansion. The main objective of this paper is information retrieval. Information retrieval is nothing but an interaction between a user and an information retrieval system that consists of the three parts here document representation, user requirement, and matching functions. In this, it removes information relevancy. This is the main objective of our process. Next, let me discuss about the abstract of our project. To complete the semantic search, a yeah, search engine is needed which can understand the meaning of a user's query and the association among the contents that a document contains with respect to a particular area. We are presenting a statement of a system based on ontology. In this system, user enters a query from which the meaningful concepts are extracted using these concepts and domain ontology query expansion is performed. Web documents relevant to the requested concepts and individuals are specified in this details are being retrieved. Finally, the retrieved documents are ranked according to their relevance to the user's query and they are sent to the user. If a user wants to find specific information, can search with another model of our system that works without query expansion. The approach of query expansion makes use of query concepts as well as the synonyms of these concepts or the new terms related with the original query terms. Next, let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our project. The first process has been started with OWL file creation for a uh, what we are giving based on the domains it's like uh, for, uh, book, tree, etc. What we are user given domain, OWL file has been created. After the OWL file creation, user interface is created. In the user interface, user throws some query and uh, that query has been transferred to the service provider. Service provider gets query. After the service provider gets query, uh, that is posted into a user query frame. Then user, based on the user post query, we have to find the relevant words and retrieve those and most relevant words. Based on this, we have to, we have to obtain the description of uh, query. Uh, so based on this, we have to estimate the precision and recall values based on the formulas. By using the precision and recall values, we can estimate the and evaluate the performance of uh, of this process. Now let me discuss about the demo of our project. Uh, here first process starts with uh, home.java just right click and type the file home page should be open in that you uh, have to click the uh, enter button Uh, after uh, that uh, OWL file creation uh, frame will be open in that we have to uh, give the file name like uh, what you are going to search about the domain uh, I am going to search about the domain uh, domain name called book I am going to give a file name like book then you have to give the class name for that uh, domain uh, I, I am going to give a, a, like a book name then you have to give the property names for that uh, domains like uh, book ID and uh, book price. Then just click the create button for creating the OWL file and it is to be stored in uh, some folders. Uh, after that uh, creating the OWL file we, can, uh, we have to create uh, and assign the values for that uh, property name and class names. Uh, in that we have to uh, give some book names like uh, C programming and I uh, have to give pro book ID then uh, give price so and uh, after that uh, giving the values uh, you have to click the save button for uh, saving that values uh, uh, in some folders uh, it is uh, created uh, like a uh, uh, some OWL file format like audio file formats in that folder that file format is like like this then if you uh, uh, if you want to create another value image just click the next value button then enter uh, book name then book id then book price then uh, click save 
and uh, you if you want to uh, create a next uh, another value means just click the next value button otherwise you can skip this frame and uh, just click the user interface button uh, user interface frame will be open in that you have to give the uh, give your word details like that name and your mail id and your phone number and uh, prefer time for request and request type like book then request levels there is a medium or lower purchase and uh, then mode of request then you have to enter request date then enter uh, before uh, giving the submit request you have to uh, run the get request dot java or uh, java file then cycle like and uh, run the uh, run file the request request dot uh, java file Uh, server page will be opened and then get a, a server ID, IP and then port number then just click the start server button uh, after the start server button you have to uh, submit the request uh, uh, request process successfully that information has been received uh, uh, in a server uh, server page in that, uh, that uh, client ID then request for service about book like that uh, that information has been received in the server after that we have to uh, enter the query or we are going to search about domains and search query uh, and then next page will be open we have in this we are extra, uh, extracting the uh, documentation for that uh, query then we have to find similarities about based on the queries like uh, that is this is a uh, relevant words all relevant words this is a uh, retrieved words based on the uh, domain and uh, then this is a uh, uh, most relevant words what we are given in the query what we are what we are given in the uh, query based on the domain then after that we have to calculate the precision and recall values based on the retrieved words and most relevant words and uh, most retrieved words in that uh, we have to calculate this is a formula for calculating the recall and precision values then calculate then insert into a database and calculate the precision value and insert into a database after that you enter into a next process in that precision values has been calculated then the recall values has been calculated then enter into a, uh, a graph process then display graph thank you now let me discuss about the next process of our project in that first we are going to uh, run our service provider at java Uh, after that, uh, uh, yeah, you have to run user query dot Java. Just uh, enter your details. Then enter up before time for request. Enter your mail ID, enter your phone number. Then enter up before time for request and enter your request type. Uh, and then request level. Uh, and then mode of request. So what you are going to purchase or inquiry. Then enter your request date. Mm, before uh, submit the request, you have to start the server. The server has has been stored uh, it is waiting for a client request after that you have to submit the request the request post is successfully and uh, that client information has been received in a server after receiving the informations 
I have to search a uh, uh, search the query in a ontology repository. In, in that uh, based upon a uh, uh, query, uh, in that what uh, what uh, files are stored in a repository has been displayed in like this. Then based on the query, that information can be retrieved uh, in a ontology repository. Then uh, go to the server database, server search. Then uh, in that uh, some files has been uh, stored in a server based on our query that has been retrieved uh, in the frame. Then go to the history database, search in the history. In that uh, based on our query, in that we have uh, pseudo.xml, newline.xml. Based upon the query, some information has been retrieved like uh, in this text area. Then we have to evaluate based on the time evaluations uh, in server ontology and then history data and then based on this we have to evaluate the memory evaluations. This is the complete flow of our project. Thank you.